became a career firefighter with the Howard County Department of Fire and Rescue Service, the chief of the medical division or EMS, the unofficial historian of the Howard County Department of Fire and Rescue Service, over 65,000 digital images and newspaper articles, magazine articles, etc. Episode 24-15, Sometimes It Just Takes a Calm Voice to Save a Life. Uh, back in uh, April of 1987, uh, there was an incident in the Ellicott City area uh, where a mother was having an emotional breakdown and unexplainably uh, decided that she was going to take her own life by cutting her her wrist, her arm, and uh, that's exactly what she did. Uh, she took a knife and cut her arm in several places. In fact, uh, uh, the lacerations were so severe, the only reason she didn't cut her arm off was because she had bone in a couple places. It was just a, you know, it, this is done up in the upstairs bedroom, bathroom, and it was significantly a, a, a bloody mess uh, in that, that room. The tragedy was that this was done in front of her two children, I believe a 14-year-old uh, daughter and about a 9-year-old son. Uh, again, this uh, they were not necessarily witness to the actual cutting, but they were uh, directly involved in the aftermath of the, the cutting and uh, again witnessed uh, uh, firsthand what was going on. Units were dispatched to that particular uh, location in the Ellicott City area. Uh, I know uh, Officer Tim Black and Officer Cecilia Moran uh, from the police department were responding. Uh, I was responding as well. When we got on location, Tim was the first person to get there. I was the second coming up the stairs right behind him. And Cecilio came in a little bit later and actually was taking care of the children. But what we're going to listen to now is the, the dispatch and then the dispatcher, Ms. Renee uh, Shives, who stayed on the phone uh, with the 14-year-old uh, daughter and calmly, calmly gave life-saving instructions to the daughter to talk her through how to control the bleeding and how to take care of the situation. It's a rather dramatic uh, audio, uh, one that still sort of gives me chills uh, being a parent, and um, it, it's quite dramatic. Uh, Ms. Shives uh, received an award from the county for her life-saving uh, efforts, and well-deserved, well-deserved. And it's also a credit to communications folks, uh, the difference that they can make, uh, not being on the scene, but being able to adapt and uh, to communicate calmly with an individual to change an outcome. So what we're going to listen to now is the actual 911 discussions of uh, Ms. Shives talking to the 14-year-old girl. Honey, 
It's okay. You just stay in the line with me, and I'll talk to the officer when the ambulance gets here, okay? At the end of the call, I collected my equipment from upstairs uh, and proceeded downstairs uh, uh, to go home to get cleaned up. Uh, but also when I went downstairs, uh, Ms. Moran, Officer Moran, was sitting there with the two children on the sofa. I, I had intended to stop by to t chat with the children for a couple moments, uh, but Ms. Moran was there uh, communicating with the kids. And we in public safety, uh, when dealing with children, it it's, uh, hits a soft spot in our hearts. And I've always wondered since that very day that I knew mom was going to be taken care of both physically and emotionally. I was making the assumption that dad somehow or other would be taken care of. But I always wondered what happened to the children. What assistance did they get after living through this nightmare? You know, what assistance did they get uh, from the emotional trauma uh, that this event uh, took? Uh, this is almost uh, 45 years later. Uh, I just wondered this very day how they turned out, what they ended up uh, doing in life, and were they negatively impacted. Uh, that's just one of the mysteries that we in public safety uh, in, encounter all the time, that uh, we run a call, handle the call, and move on to the next incident, and we just never know what the uh, final, final outcome is going to be with the patients that, that we serve. Please use your remaining heartbeats wisely and not waste a single precious one.